Rockingham at Shorewater Bay, which is a part of a marine park. So over there, that island there, is called Penguin Island. And it is called Penguin Island because it's home to the smallest penguin in the world, the little penguin. But before I go there, I'm gonna hop on a boat and I go on a little adventure safari. We're hoping to see lots of seabirds, dolphins and seals. But before I'm gonna do any of this, I'm going to have a coffee. I really hope we will see some dolphins. Oh, look, there's some pelicans. <laughs> so excited. I'm gonna have my morning coffee. spot any dorsal fins um, at the surface of the water. I don't think I can see any dolphins here though. So we might head further north. So just keep your eyes peeled as we head around the corner. Coming up for a breath of air in the next few seconds. So I'm on Penguin Island now. I just got attacked by Seagull. Sweet me. Didn't think they'd do that. That one there. Just attacked me again. I had the boat cruise. We weren't actually that successful. We didn't see dolphins really. We saw one. But, um, yeah, we did see other stuff like the seals and the birds and that. But the main, the main thing would have been a dolphin. So what they did is they, um, they invited us again for free. Everyone on board. So I might come back. And back at Penguin Island. They said I could come back, so I did. And I'm really, really hoping I'm going to be seeing some dolphins today. So wish me luck, guys. Hopefully. There's the boat. Starting. We might have some fishing dolphins. We'll have a look at what they're up to. Fishing is one of their main behaviours. There's quite a few there, guys. on four flippers, two big front flippers that are very obvious, and at the back, down by the tail, you have two tail flippers. So what we'll do in a moment, guys, because they are now travelling like this, definitely set direction again, is travel past them a little faster and we'll put up a wave. Sometimes if they're feeling really social and feeling like showing off, they like to have a surf and get a free ride. This was awesome. And now I'm at Penguin Island again. And I'm going to introduce you to the smallest penguin in the world, the little penguin. So I'm going to the Penguin Discovery Centre. You can't really actually see the penguins in the wild here, but they do have orphan penguins here. They take care of and look after, and these are the ones you get to see. And one of them is a real cutie. His name is Kevin. 
So Kevin has apparently been with the centre since he was two days old. He was dragged out of his burrow. Nobody really knows why. And wouldn't have survived on his own. So they took him in. He's the youngest penguin now and he's also the most vocal penguin. So he will chat a lot to everyone. some lunch surrounded by some king skinks. Oh, we got here. I'm surrounded by big lizards. Look at one right there. And I'm now going for a walk around the island. Apparently there's a sea lion resting on this island. I want to see if I can find him. I think I found him. He's right behind me there in the dark. I'll zoom in. Just in there. So these little rocks and caves and that, this is where the little penguins come out after nightfall. Or after dusk really. So they're out all day fishing. Very unlikely we'll see any in the wild because they'll be out. The only ones we might be seeing are molting penguins. So when they change over their feathers. But they only do that once a year. So it's very, very unlikely. I can't believe there's actually a penguin above them. He's just in there. What? See? Oh. I can't believe it. I've seen a wild little penguin. And here I was telling you how it's very unlikely to see one during the day on this island. It must be molting. Awesome. So I'm already at the first lookout. And just there behind me on that part of the island is where all the pelicans are. So that's where they breed, lay eggs, and make sure their chicks grow up healthily. Oh, hello. Look who's here. <laughs> and up there, where these people are on top, that's where I'll go next. I'm now up on the highest point of the island. So behind me you can see the sheltered waters of the bay with the outlines of the sand bank in the middle. And if I turn around, there's another bay and then you can see it opening up into the big open ocean. I've made it around the island, I'm cooling off my feet, and I catched a ferry back to the mainland. That was awesome. Come here, people, come. It's fantastic. Say goodbye to you for now and I'll see you guys next time on another little adventure.